ARDS is characterized by diffuse alveolar damage that leads to fluid buildup, edema, and collapsed air sacs in the lungs, atelectasis. A computed tomography, court, scan of the patient, performed in a supine position, shows bilateral dense consolidations in the most dependent region of the lung, and normal attenuation in the non-dependent region. In healthy lungs, alveolar hypoxia, such as that caused by hypoventilation, leads to a mechanism known as hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction, HPV. HPV results in the constriction of precapillary vessels, which matches the blood flow, perfusion, or Q, to regional ventilation, that is V, optimizing arterial oxygenation. In ARDS, there is a disbalance of vasoconstriction in well-ventilated areas and vasodilation in poorly ventilated areas. This is primarily due to the inhibition of HPV. This imbalance leads to the redistribution of blood flow from well-ventilated alveoli to poorly ventilated alveoli, resulting in a V-Q mismatch. This mismatch is a significant contributor to the low oxygen levels, hypoxemia, seen in ARDS patients. Additional factors that contribute to the low perfusion of well-ventilated alveoli include vascular obstruction caused by edema, infiltration, and the formation of small blood clots, microthrombosis. The primary mechanism of HPV involves oxygen sensing by mitochondria, which then alters the cellular redox state or releases reactive oxygen species. These changes trigger various plasma membrane ion channels, leading to an increase in cytosolic calcium and HPV. Other contributing mechanisms to HPV can include changes in intracellular AMP, ATP levels, activation of phospholipase C, increase in diacylglycerol levels, and propagation of endothelial signals via gap junctions and sphingosine 1-phosphate signaling. During prolonged hypoxia, additional mechanisms such as increased calcium sensitization by Rho kinase might be involved. HPV is modulated by the endothelium through factors involving nitric oxide soluble guanylyl cyclase cyclic guanosine monophosphate signaling, and arachidonic acid derived vasoactive factors, like PGI2, TXA2, and EATS, as well as ATII and ET1. These factors prompt either vasodilation or vasoconstriction. In ARDS, leukotrienes mainly act by promoting inflammation. A high increase in NO, PGI2, and a decrease in EET may inhibit HPV and cause low V, Q areas in ARDS. On the contrary, an increase in vasoconstrictive substances such as ATII, ET1, and TXA2 in the pulmonary circulation can lead to vasoconstriction, promoting VQ mismatch and pulmonary hypertension. Inhaled NO and prostacyclines enhance vasodilation only in ventilated lung areas, improving VQ matching by reducing blood flow redistribution. Note that these therapeutic approaches have been or are being tested in clinical trials. Changes in the levels of different vasoactive substances in ARDS are denoted with red arrows, with brackets around arrows when the data is only available from animal studies. Arachidonic acid, a polyunsaturated fatty acid, is the key player in various biochemical pathways leading to the formation of important bioactive derivatives. Upon cellular stimulation, arachidonic acid is released from the phospholipid layer of cell membranes by the action of phospholipase A2. The freed arachidonic acid can then follow one of the three main pathways, the cyclooxygenase, COX, pathway, which leads to the formation of prostaglandins, prostacyclins, and thromboxanes. These molecules are involved in several physiological processes, including inflammation, platelet aggregation, and vasodilation. The lipoxygenase, LOX, pathway results in the production of leukotrienes and hydroxy acids, HETEs. These molecules play crucial roles in inflammatory and allergic responses. The cytochrome P450 epoxygenase pathway, leading to the formation of epoxyicosatrinoic acids, EATS, which are vasodilatory and anti-inflammatory. Let's look if we can modify these agents and try to correct the HPV abnormality associated with ARDS. The balance is delicate so till now we have not found a proper agent. This table summarizes the evidence till now. Inhaled nitric oxide, ENO. Used for ARDS. Some studies suggest limited effectiveness in COVID-19 related ARDS. Improved oxygenation observed but no clear mortality benefit. 
future studies will evaluate its use in the context of COVID-19. Epiprostanol, another inhaled treatment option for ARDS. No benefits till now. Dexamethasone, used for ARDS treatment, found effective in hospitalized COVID-19 patients. Recombinant human ACE2, potential therapeutic for SARS-CoV-2 complications. No benefits till now. Captopril, helps decrease plasminogen activator inhibitor 1 in ARDS. Losartan, prevents sepsis-induced acute lung injury. Almatrine, two-thirds of patients showed improved POW2, FiO2 ratio by at least 20%. No significant difference in 28-day mortality between responders and non-responders. Past usage associated with severe adverse effects. Phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors and endothelin receptor antagonists evaluated for treating pulmonary hypertension in ARDS. Use might be limited due to potential worsening of oxygenation from impaired HPV.